Honourable Member for Whitby. Mr. Speaker, yesterday marked the last day of 16 days of activism against gender-based violence. Over the past 16 days, we have reflected on the lives of survivors of violence and the lives of those we have lost. During this time, we also thought about the role we can all play to prevent and address gender-based violence, strengthen our communities, and build a better Canada. Can the Minister of Status of Women update this House on the actions our government is taking to end gender-based violence and build resilience? And the Honourable Minister. Sure, I thank my honourable colleague from Whitby who knows that gender-based violence is preventable, and yet when we formed government, there was no coordinated strategy to address it. Women's organizations were underfunded and their advocacy was silenced. Our government worked with survivors and experts to develop Canada's first strategy to address and prevent gender-based violence. We invested over $200 million to help implement it. Yesterday, we launched a call to support critical research to better understand gender-based violence. The first public call for research from Status of Women since the Harper Conservatives shut down its research branch in 2008.